Greetings and welcome to my little home in Mount Eliza, Victoria, Australia. This is this little handsome devil is the brand new, well, brand new in Australia at least, Dan Electro Triple Divine. And it is quite divine, I've got to say. You've got three lipstick pickups here, which are El Nico 6s, if I'm not mistaken. And El Nico 6 magnets stuffed into these gorgeous lipstick cases with a five way blade switch, not unreminiscent, not unreminiscent reminiscent of a Stratocaster type of arrangement, but the lipsticks have their own quality and it's a, bit, a little bit warmer, uh, different type of attack, but, you know, vaguely similar as well. Volume control, tone control. The guitar itself is a mixture of a classic Dan Electro's kind of ply construction with a big chunk of spruce running down the middle to give it that extra sustain and stability and that spruce tone which has been proven for centuries. The neck is maple, you've got a rosewood fingerboard, some beautiful jumbo frets which I have to say are just impeccably finished. Uh, flat radius, I'm guessing, I'm not actually sure what the specs are but I'm guessing somewhere between 14 and 16. Classic Dano style three aside machine heads. On the rear of the guitar, you'll find all of these screws, and these screws basically let you adjust the height of these three pickups, which is a pretty cool idea because it keeps them off the front face and gives it this very handsome and clean look, which is finished in a lovely cream binding. This guitar is black, clearly. There are three other colours at the time of recording uh, available as well. The bridge is a, it's kind of a hybrid of a six saddle uh, Strat type bridge if you can see that, and it sits on three screws, two height adjustable uh, sides and one rear screw, again height adjustable so that you can adjust the string brake. It's all about the tones really though and the playability because of that f lovely flat radius and the C-shaped neck. Also I should point out that the, the nut that they fitted with is bone. This guitar is built in Korea not in China as I've uh, seen on some other websites. At least this guitar is built in Korea. I don't know if they got a Chinese one, but um, as far as I know, they're built in Korea and the factory must be good because this is a stunner. But first of all, let's have a listen to these pickups in that clean environment, which is the classic Vibralux sim. We'll start with the back pickup. <laughs> You got a bit of telly going on in there, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a mixture between a a, a less um, ice picky strat pickup and a, and a good old Telecaster pickup. Very welcome. Great position number two, which will be these guys. Ah, there's a familiar sound. Quack quack. Middle pickup. Ooh, good funk pickup. Ace. Position number four, which is these guys. Ooh, again, a nice kind of quacky bit stringier and a bit more bottom end. And the neck pickup. Dial the tone back a bit. It's fun to play. It's so much fun to play. The strings, I believe, are Daddario 10-46s. And today, I'm using this lovely blue pick from DansGuitarStore.com. Dance and Dano. 
All right. So there are the lovely clean tones, which is what these lipstick pickups are famous for, but they can do dirt as well. Uh, although they're low to moderate output, I'm going to switch in the classic Super Lead Plexi 100 watt. <laughs> Nice, gritty. Let's go to position number two. Dano does burn. Middle pickup. Fourth position. It's a unique tone, it's a unique tone. Uh, neck pickup. Good fun, good fun. Lots of headroom too, lots of dynamic headroom because they're low output pickups. Let's put a clone in front of it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Vibrolux again, but I'm going to add some ambient sort of delay for, you know, those worship type sounds. Chord progression. And the intonation is perfect. And I haven't set it up. The 2023 Dan Electro Triple Divine, very handsome looking guitar available in four different colours from most of the top onliners and even some bricks and mortar retail shops which actually still exist here in Australia. I hope they exist for a very long time. See ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.